Welcome back, everybody. Now we're going to be talking about Learning Unit 3 and Principles of Business, BMGT 1101. Once again, my name is John Crable. I'm Assistant Professor here and Lead Instructor for this course. Uh, as always, if you guys have questions, please talk to your uh, specific instructor for your section of uh, 1101. Whether they're assignments, whether they're connect, uh, they'll be able to answer your questions. And you can always refer to uh, Units of Instruction if you go to our classroom in Blackboard. And then you can find units of instruction there. It's going to be a calendar. It's going to be to tell you everything we're doing on a weekly basis for this course. So what do we have in Learning Unit 3? Uh, check to see if there's discussion boards for a web class. Check to see uh, what assignments might be coming up. Obviously, we have uh, the Connect assignments that are going to be due. And from a foundational perspective, from an application helping you study for exams, those Connect exercises are a big part of this course. And we found to be really successful when students put in the time and energy to completing those at the beginning of each learning unit rather than putting it off towards the end or, or towards the due date. So as we look at learning unit three, we're going to go a little bit more in depth. The first two were very uh, uh, topical, very almost superficial. They didn't cover a whole lot of, of the areas involved. Now we want to get into a specific part of business of management, and that's going to be HR and its role in management as well. So there's going to be quite a few learning objectives that we're going to be going over. If you just look at product versus service types of organizations, the various types of production processes, this could also include inventory management, just in time, uh, material resource planning, enterprise resource planning, all these different concepts are going to come into play, especially when you look at some of the big Fortune 500 companies operate all the way down to small businesses. How do they manage their inventory? What technology, what tools are going to be out there to better help 21st century businesses take advantage of those operational efficiencies? We want to look at motivation. You know, one of the interesting things is uh, you always hear about people, how much they complain about work, how they hate work. So from a motivational standpoint, what are they doing well in your current job or what are they not doing well? How can we really kind of turn this conversation on its head and be able to have a good conversation about, you know, how do I excel at work? What types of leadership, what types of motivation could they use to really get me to amp up my attitude? You can look at intrinsic, you look at intrinsic types of uh, needs and values, and are they being met by my current employer? Uh, when we look at Maslow, his, uh, 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 I believe it's six levels, five levels of hierarchy and how to uh, apply them to employee motivation. You, know, you start all the way down at the base level, and then you get, uh, can get all the way to the top. And one of the things we'll talk about on a class-by-class -class basis is how you cannot go up a level until those base needs have been met. That's the only way you're going to pro progress forward. You can look at managers from an X, Y, or Z theory perspective, how those differentiate, how those kind of play off of each other, and how management looks at that frontline uh, employee or those groups of employees. We want to talk about well-written goals for goal setting, right? Everybody has, uh, can write, you know, I want to lose 10 pounds, I want to have a different job. But if you don't have the process, if you don't have the specifics and the timeline to get there, being able to go through that process and really dial into the, the, the nitty-gritty of what it's going to take to achieve those goals. Uh, basic motivation theories, how to apply them in the workplace, and I guarantee you when you get into those, you're going to see what your current employer or past employer has done well, or quite frankly hasn't done well. We want to look at HR laws, we want to look how those are, are applied to empl employers, uh, your current employers or previous, and then when you're going through that hiring process, what are the steps? Right? What does that process look like if you're going to get into more of an HR role or, or you desire to? We want to have an understanding of what that process looks like. And then we just want to know terminology, uh, whether it's uh, uh, job planning, whether it's job description, whether it's uh, internships, all those types of things. We want to have a good understanding of, of the foundations of what HR is because as you get more into business management, or you go off onto your own path in accounting or finance or, or an art and sciences career, we want you to be able to go back and say, okay, well, this should be happening next. I understand what this means. We want you to be able to apply that as well. So thanks for your time today, guys. Obviously, go back and ask your specific instructor if you have any questions on any of the learning objectives here, and we'll get back to it. Bye-bye.